Well, what I like to do, I've done a couple of interviews on television. I've done, I've done sort of uh, Des O'Connor, I've done Parkinson, and I, and I was all right on them. I was fine, but I wasn't brilliant on them, and I'd like to get better. So what I like to do is to kind of practice with a member of the audience doing an interview. Now, would anyone like to interview me? Yes. Yes. Right, her. <laughs> What's your name? What? I tell you what, we'll discuss it down here because <laughs> it sounds to me like you don't have a proper name. <laughs> but Lady in the Blue, as you will now be known. You want to stick a mic on her? Unless you're busy. <laughs> Unless you're busy standing by a door. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, she could get up as well. Christ. <laughs> Thank God she could get up because that. <laughs> Sit down. Hello. I thought I was sitting in my own chair. You thought you were sitting in your own chair? <laughs> Unlucky. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> you thought it was a joke? Well, it sort of is. <laughs> Have you not seen a pattern emerging? There's a little list of questions. What's your name? Oh, I don't make up my own questions. You can make up your own, yeah. <laughs> Feel free. Um, my name is Blonard. Blonard? Yeah. It's Irish. It's Irish for what? Typo? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it's Irish for. What is it Irish for? That's it, yeah. Flower? <laughs> yeah. What kind of flower? Little flower. Not self-raising? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Little flower? Little flower, yeah. Blonard. It's, it's not difficult, yeah. Is it, is it spelt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. All right, little flower. <laughs> but I just worry on the DVD, if you, you know, if you're watching this back at home, I can pronounce blonde. <laughs> Blonard. <laughs> Go ahead. Kick off. Ask anything you want, actually. I've got those there, but you know. <laughs> do you want me to speak from this? <laughs> really? Do you want me to ask these questions? <laughs> it's not complicated. <laughs> okay. Right back at you. <laughs> It would okay. appear, Blonet, I've got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> Great to have you here. Great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and hold it together. You're not Graham Norton. <laughs> no, I'm not Graham Norton. What do you think about fame? Well, I'm glad you've asked me that. A lot of people, a lot of people they get their first little taste of fame and they let it go to their heads. They end up in the Priory Clinic talking about themselves in the third person. Okay. Let me assure you, Jimmy Carr's not going to let that happen. <laughs> So who would you most like to sleep with? Anyone, living or dead? Anyone living. <laughs> this could take a while. greatest regret? Well, they say that you should regret the things you, you have done, not the things you haven't, but my greatest regret is something that I didn't do. It's a, a girl called Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> you Sorry, do I look like a wife beater now? Because she's crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I think I might be giving her an orgasm. I'm not... <laughs> I've never seen it before. I've got no frame of reference. Have a go. <laughs> Which words or phrases do you most overuse? Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. <laughs> All I'm saying is, when you think about it, can I park here? Is it in yet? <laughs> Where do you get your ideas from? I think it's the cerebellum, but it could be the frontal cortex. <laughs> I'm not sure. Which book changed your life? Heidegger's Being and Nothingness. What is your most embarrassing Well, hang on, there's more to that. <laughs> Feed line, punch line, then we move on. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay, what is your favourite record of all time? Well, it's a different question. <laughs> go back to the book, damn it. Okay, what book changed your life? Heidegger's Being in Nothingness. Before I got that book, we had a wonky table in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>